Big talk. Big talk for the young boy. You're, you're so. Big talk. ¿Qué tal? How's Big it talk. going, sir? Episode three. No, yeah. four. What are oh, you doing? Sure. <laughs> Episode four. You forgot three. Three is my favorite one so far because we had uh, my boy come through. So first I felt like he was, the, he was the best person like to that? start with okay. as a guest. I mean, I can't say that as man biased because we haven't <laughs> heard yeah, any, yeah. We, we haven't had anybody else. True, but true. he was dope. Like I, I really enjoyed him. Had you know having him move. That was super. Stuff. That was super dope. And I feel like I said in that in that um, podcast, I, I felt that there's definitely more podcasts with him coming up. More, um, <clears throat> more big talk one. He's easy to talk to. Yeah. And and we definitely there's definitely so much more we could know about him and about what he's doing and just in general just like in conversation like somebody yeah. that you could have a conversation with so speaking of him you noticed today he posted the Dykeman Library they turned yeah, it down they turned bro. that shit down that shit was That's I thought crazy. I would never see some shit like that before like Dykeman yeah. Library like w- since when they tear down libraries and afterwards he he put he put the picture of like what's gonna be there later on it's gonna be what like a, a a building like a, a sedan shoe yeah what the it's not gonna be it, it didn't look like it was too tall. But it's gonna be a residential building, nonetheless. So, so pe- people don't use libraries anymore, and shit. Like that's, that's the new wave, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll put it somewhere else, and maybe there's another one close by. But as far as I know, like growing up as a kid, that's where I went. I know the, the next the next library after that is the one on one seventy ninth. Between, for real? Between, going 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 downtown. Going downtown between uh, San Nicholas and Audubon. That's the one I used to go to. Damn. So I I don't even know up more uptown if. Where the next? There might be another be. one around there, but I, I don't um, remember. That's the, that's the one that I grew up on. Yeah, but yeah, man. Shout out to Charlie. Shout out to Charlie for coming through and dropping some gems. That was a that was a great episode. Again, like I let, let's talk let's talk about how we felt like during that like the, during the episode and like what like I'll, I'll tell my experience. You can tell me yours. Yeah. Um, I felt like yo like that whole day led up to that. And it was fucking monumental that day was like incredible the way that everything happened. Mm. Um, and then while shooting, like I'm just like the whole time I'm just trying to make sure I got energy because I was fucking cooked. Dude. I was dead. I was dead from all the all the writing that we that um that I did. Yeah, you rode day. uptown all the way to Dykeman, right? Yeah. Right back, uh rode so, back and stuff. Yeah, bike. so I had a I had a I had a long bike ride that day. So I was pretty tired. And it was a, it was an action packed day, and and while like sometimes I felt it was weird because like during the interview, like during the podcast that we had, like I felt like I was just I was em- I felt empty, but not mm. not not necessarily in a bad way, but like sometimes like when I'll be talking, I'll be like, what the hell am I talking about? Just in my head. Uh. But it, I think it was just like it, it was a combination of being tired and just like continu- continuing on the day, even though like you're you're dead. But yeah. like looking back at the podcast, I'm like, wow, like. I did. I like. I wasn't. I honestly didn't expect it to be as good as it was. It was fucking dope, and I was like, "Yo, wow. that's awesome." That that just goes to show you, like, you push yourself, man, and, and you're just gonna I, keep getting better. I felt like it was good off the rip. Yeah. I, I remember you told me that, like, oh, <laughs> like I feel like I'm talking too much. So I'm, yeah. I'm like, nah, you guys are going like we flowing. Like everything was going good. Um, I think yeah, we, definitely we, did. I, I heard definitely heard it back. Um, all the way through. That's probably that's the first episode that. It releases and I listen to it right away. Yeah. Um. The other ones I'll spend days and I don't listen mm. back to. It. I don't know why, but you know, they this will, is part of that thing that I know. I, I just feel like since I know nothing could be done, we don't, we don't usually spend too long editing them. Yeah. I don't want to listen to it because then I might be like, oh, can we edit this? And I like I don't even want to mm. touch them. Like just oh, leave yeah, them out. Like I, honestly, I I kind of forgot to to send it to you <laughs> so you could check it out. Like it was yeah. it was just one of those like. I saved it toward to the end of the week to to start editing. So like I started editing it. I think it was already like late Friday, and then I finished editing yeah, I remember, it on yeah. Saturday, and then it was coming out the next day. So I I was pushing myself with that, but also I uh, like with editing. Like we we have a, a good understanding of like what what we're comfortable with, you know, yeah. like leaving in or whatever. Because some like for me, mostly what I take out. This this is also for y'all for anybody who's interested in getting started podcast. Like for 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 me, I kind of just more than anything take out. Like what I feel like would be dead air, where it's like a second or two, where yeah, like it's just like there's no there's no like speaking. Maybe I take out my phone and yeah. look at a topic. We, or but we already do. even do that. I think exactly, the most yeah. we do is is um when we take a break because of the camera, yeah. you have to restart the camera. That, and, that'd be um, annoying sometimes. I, you, you guys have probably noticed that already. Like my phone, my phone's alarm will ring, which right now I probably got like twenty three minutes on it. But basically, my camera <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't record past thirty minutes. 
Um, so that's why we do that. But that shit, that should be annoying because sometimes I be in the middle of a thought in the middle, and yeah. me like for me to actually get it out, I have to get it out all. I have to like throw it up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. for me to get my points out, so like that'd be fucking Just me up. Train thoughts. Yeah, but like, the, yeah. but this last one I heard it, and you, you guys can see it in the episode. I heard it, and I'm just like, hold on. I put it down and I continue my thing because I'm like, nah, like we, I gotta get this one out because I don't, I like this is this is a point that I feel like will be valuable. So yeah, that's that's one thing that's annoying, but it I, like in general, like it'd be it'd be dope to fucking to actually shoot these. Like I really enjoy shooting big talk, which is why we got fucking big talk episode four. We not letting up, baby. Facts. Um, I was gonna ask you earlier, but I'll yeah. just ask you on, on the episode itself. Like, so what are you thinking for five? You thinking on having a guest again, or or? Yeah. So so we actually we're we're shooting fucking two this week. Or we sh- we oh, sh- what this one and oh yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. You're right. So we sh- we're shooting. There's gonna be two episodes shot this week, but we're gonna keep dropping these like weekly. We're gonna make it a weekly thing. We missed a week right now, but we we're not beating ourselves up about that. Um, True. but so this is this is you know. A big talk to to like regroup all the all the thoughts all the all the life that has been you know Facts. that we've been living these days. So it's kind of like I know last time was more you know it was more like bringing somebody else into our world and and like learning more about them. Yeah. But we're, now now we're back to like you know now we're back to talk about, shit. Talk talk that talk talk, talk that, that talk talk more big talk man. What is there to talk about? Um, I don't think I asked well, you. What, I asked, what was your question? You asked me a question. <laughs> when earlier today? Yeah right no right right now. Oh no no no! You answered it. What, uh, what it? we were gonna like uh, if we were having a oh, guest. Oh or, yeah yeah yeah. Or, so, yeah yeah. We so, were working on that. So back to that. <laughs> so there's gonna be two episodes shot this week. This one and then another one. We're gonna interview somebody else. You'll find out who it is when yeah. it comes out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any names, but it's basically somebody that that we have met a long uh, years ago years now. Years ago, bro. And like, he's he's actually he's he's basically he's like one of our friends like. Artist, like he's managing, he's managing him as well. One of our friends, one yeah. of our boys. So it might be like we're having two other people also. Cause, yeah, yeah, we might have. Cause we, we I, f- I feel like we should definitely have both of them. Two. I love Jason. He's my, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, I spilled the beans. It's I told, okay. It's okay. I do it. But like, yeah, yeah. But it's, it, it's, it's, two, it's it's two people that two people that we fuck with, um, that we have a rapport with, and they're they're two interesting people because they're they're yeah. doing this music industry thing, different things than necessarily me and Lewis are doing. Me and Achilles. Um, but we're you know we're all in the music business, so it'll be interesting to see you know what they do and how they get you into. You know, it's it crazy stuff. to that, like, and I, I feel like he it, it, with him. Uh, I already mentioned his name, Jason, but like with him, whenever I meet with him, like in person, yeah. it's usually the same way. Like how you was mentioning with Charlie, like yeah. it's not a surface level conversation. Yeah. Even if it's like a little bit you know quick, because we just bump into each other like in the streets. We'll still like you know just talk for a little bit and, like just in a matter of seconds we'll catch up on a few things and like he'll put me onto something that he's doing or like I'm like yo that's dope like you know like that's how you could tell like you know you get what I'm saying like yeah he's my just, dog yo yeah. like we we all like ever since we met him we like <laughs> is like just like family like we like we don't uh, we don't even have to speak for like a couple of years and then whenever whenever it picks back up like we're yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's like the same as when it when we were fucking teenagers and shit like yeah, that yeah, hanging exactly. out at Handrell's crib and shit like that he was one of the people that we were talking about like when we used to hang out in our friend's house late night and shit like that playing video games he'll video be there we'll, we'll to, uh house parties and shit like that yeah man fucking it's fire man good people and it's dope that you know we we're all connected and we're all actually doing things to to continue to follow our you know Big our talk. purpose and shit like that so that's that's the episode you guys can look forward to um, for the next week. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a vibe. Um, I got I got a, I got a question for you. So like this is we always we always um, bring this question up. Uh, how you feeling? What you been up to? How you feeling these days? And I want you I want you to let let it loose because let it loose. Let it loose. Let like, it loose. Uh, damn. I mean, I've been feeling good. I I just feel I I feel a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say burned out, but just um, just getting back into the flow of things. Because uh, as you know, like I was, I was, I was outside of New York City this past week, so um, I came back and um, just getting gathering everything, like you know, starting up with sessions again, uh, getting in contact with some of the artists that inquire about sessions, uh, going back to the other studio to do sessions, <laughs> like diving right back that, into the work. That, but then also like you know, I did take some time to just rest. I slept a lot while I was out, like just and beat myself up too much, like. Um, I, I try to focus a little bit more on the YouTube content since I was away from the studio. Um, but I honestly, I feel pretty good. Like I, I came back, uh, you know, like strong for like, you know, I came back to New York, like excited. I had a bunch of packages of stuff that I bought, like, uh, audio equipment and like, you know, just testing shit out. I was yeah. up all night yesterday, as I told you. Put it in that crazy um, word. <laughs> but, um. Let's, all right. So I asked that question 
so I could get into another question, which I which I knew you kind of wasn't gonna bring up, but I wanted yeah. to bring it up. So yeah, let's talk about where you were, why you were there. <laughs> talk about where you were, why you were there, because I feel like that's gonna lead to like a, a, a uh, conversation. <laughs> so I was in uh, in Philadelphia, yeah, in Philly. Um, you know, getting some of that Philly life. I'm gonna be just living between New York and, and Philly because my girlfriend's gonna to big school moves. There. Yeah, big moves, man. Yeah, so we were like, you know. Just uh, settling in because she's starting her semester. So we were just basically uh, just moving stuff in, like, you know, furniture uh, into an apartment over there. Um, getting to know the neighborhood, trying out the food, walking around, like, you know, all of that. Super dope. How do you feel that, like, that experience was? Like, learning someplace that's completely new to you? It was dope. It could be a little bit, um, not, not, uh, not to, like, that you hesitate to, like, you know, like, want to go out. But I feel like. Coming from New York City, I know what it, that city life is like. So when I see the city structures and like, you know, it, it looks similar to, very similar to New mm. York City. But a and, 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 question though, to, mm -hmm. to, get to, to get into one thing that you just said, um, what do you mean like when, when you like, it kind of keeps you from what you said? Yeah, yeah. I was going to get yeah, to that. Yeah, so look, okay. for the reason that like, I live, we live in New York City yeah. and you know how it is. Like sometimes it could be a beautiful day outside. And I know how the day is gonna be with people outside, yeah. so I prefer to lay low. Yeah, I would usually do that, and and then, but like, and late in the afternoon, I might ride my bicycle or something like that. Like, I prefer to avoid the the people. Really, is I'm that kind of like okay. that? Is that is that something that that is is coming up in you now, or is that something that you feel like is, I've always is, been like that? Yeah, like that, that's why, like when I was when we were young, we used to go to the Dominican parade and all those yeah. things. And then after I got older, I stopped. Like I just I stopped mm. messing with that. Yeah, like. Yeah, I see what you're saying, like, why you were asked, like, especially since the last year and stuff, everything we went yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I, I've always been like that. Like, I, I don't like taking the subway when it's, like, rush hour or anything. Like, I just like to, you know, like, if I'm going to point A to point B, I just like to make it, like, seamless. Like, you know, not, not a lot of, like, oh, how am I going to do this? There's too many people here or traffic, yeah, yeah, yeah. all those things. So, but going back to what I was saying, mm -hmm. Philly, um, so, yeah, so, like, just looking at it, like, from the from the window, just, like, you know, driving up there and, like, Seeing what it's like, you might be like, "Oh, damn! This is another New York. Like, you know, it's, the streets are so tight. Um, there's a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of bars, and this and that." But what I notice is that you actually have to step outside and walk around. And um, at least in the neighborhood that I'm in, I'm at like the it's really friendly. Like, there's a, a lot of great people. There's some. This surprisingly, there's still some mom and pop stores around there. Like, not much, but there's some cafes and stuff like that. There's a, a bunch of restaurants, but um. Another thing we did was just we walked by the, like one of the parks, like you know we just walked all the way to the where the Rocky Steps are at, and like that was beautiful, like the park itself, like the park itself and stuff. That's where I noticed that it's like damn, like is that city structure similar to New York? But like my friend Manny said, which Manny lives over there. Remember oh, Manny does? from One Ninety? Yeah, he oh, does. Uh, he, yo, he lives like a few blocks from yeah from where we're gonna be at. Damn. So we, I'm gonna link up with him That's next super time. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was telling me he's like, yo, it's it's it's, it's like New York, but much better because it's less people. And and that's okay. what I noticed when I went out that day but, and but, I walked to the park. But is that? But I mean, I mean, yeah, I I understand. Yeah. I understand that you. Um, like, it all depends. Yeah. It all yeah. Depends. That, that, that that you don't really like necessarily like crowds, but like is that like less people better? That's one. That's one. I, yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. Um, because I'm I'm gonna add a little bit and then you will keep on going. So for me, one of the experiences that I've been having, um, recently is that like I feel I feel, I'm feeling like a very nostalgic feel in me when I go outside. Like it's mm. pa it's past COVID. Like you know you didn't see that many people out during like COVID times and shit like that. And then now you're actually finally just starting to see people. But like I feel like COVID part of it what like refreshed my mind and made me really appreciative of where I come from. Cause I was I was born and raised in New York. Mm. And I remember going downtown as a kid and shit like that and seeing all the people, seeing so much going on, but yet I'm still in my own little world of, with my family and having yeah. fun. So I've been getting that feeling. Like me and my girl went downtown. Um, this this past week we walked down and just walking down, I just got a feeling like, yo, like this place is crazy because everybody, there's so many people. Everybody's living in yeah. their own world, their own. They have their own reality. Yeah, and yeah. You, and, and somehow you're connecting with these it's, people, it's even yeah. if you're just walking down the street. If, if you just say one word to somebody, whatever it may be, whatever you get, your, you, there's so much here that you could get yourself into, and and that goes to some experiences that I've been having that I'm gonna talk about a little mm. bit later in the in the podcast. But I just wanted to say that like. I don't, maybe less people is also good depending on what you want to do. Yeah, but I fucking I like love New York. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's definitely like it's reasons to for New York to be loved and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah. I definitely love that. Like, yeah, 
But yeah, like the social times is just <laughs> I don't like, you know, like it'll be nice. Like you see, like when we go visit uh, Hydro and Genesis up yeah, there, yeah, like yeah, where they yeah. live at, Man. like how beautiful and how peaceful that's that so is. Fun. Like you just can't wait in to your go, backyard. I can't wait to go stuff. again. <laughs> it's dope, but like yeah, like you know, but yeah, Philly was dope. So I, that's what I was doing for the past week, and um, so I came back uh, yesterday, and then ever since, you know, just just getting back, you hit me up like. You hit me up yesterday, like you're trying to record this this podcast today yeah. at nine o'clock. It is, <laughs> it is. Oh, Yo, that's my yeah. It is one o six right now. <laughs> one o six in the morning. We we were trying to start like at nine or ten o'clock. Yeah, that, imagine, that's how it is. Imagine we would have tried to shoot in my crib too. Damn. Yeah, it would have been. It would have taken. It's cool. Long. Um, what about you? What you did this week? I so I, I'm I'm gonna get back to that, but I want to get deeper into into what's going on in your life right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so your girl's moving to Philly to go to yeah. school. Um, it's not that far from New York for all you guys who know geography yeah. and shit like that. So, you know, they're going to see each other often. But you could technically say right now you're in a long-distance relationship. Mm. So, I wanted to ask you, like, obviously, your your plan is to make your relationship the most harmonious and, and make sure everything works because that's, yeah. that's, that's somebody that you love. Yeah, that's yeah, somebody yeah. that you really care for. Bad. So, my question to you is, like, what, 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 like, out of curiosity, even just for, for me and for anybody to know, like, what are you gonna do to to make sure this relationship thrives and 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 distance be, mm. is not even a factor? Like like, have you planned any of that out, or like, is that something steps that you're already taking now to make that work? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I gotta get a new mic cables. My bad. But yeah, that's something that we we actually um we had to like we discussed like a lot of times, like you know, before she. She um she made made the, the the move over there, and she asked herself, you know, is this something that I want to? Because I understand, you know, she asked herself like, is that something that I want to bring up, to like bring bring into our relationship, like you know, make it into this after we had already like you know we we've been living together and stuff for some time, and you know like to me, I've always like I've always told her like yeah do it do it because I know that's her dream that's what she wanted to do, and bro you're like <laughs> like yo this. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, uh, we could probably talk about this later on, but, like, I feel like sometimes, like, um, nah, I feel like it's going to get to somewhere else, but uh, I even lost my train of thought, like, what I was talking about. With, with oh, you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, ask hold me on. a question. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> what, you said what? No, 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 because I Hold on, hold on, pause, 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 everything. If you could get into get into whatever, and then I, I, afterwards you could tell me, like, yo, take certain parts off. It's just in case if no, you're, no, no, no. If it's, you're it's, censoring it's, yourself. It's not even about censoring. Okay. It's just that I could go on a hold. We're going to go on a no, no, another fine, no, rabbit that's, hole that's type fine, shit. That's fine. But the thing it, is it, like... Because we're always going to get back to the point. So so this is the thing. It, it will, yeah, it will lead back to like what, the question that you were asking me. And sorry if I'm not looking enough at the camera, guys. It's just that... This is an yeah, awkward position. Yeah, we, <laughs> we still we got to figure it out with yeah, the, yeah. you know, working on it. But um, it's, it's funny you, 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 you mentioned that. Like you asked me that question because... We discussed it a few times before she did that, but also while we were there, like, you know, this week, we just, you know, it was a lot of, uh, uh, like you be saying, like not level, uh, surface level conversations. Like we went deep to it and like, you know, we were acknowledging like, you know, why are we making these, these steps, why she was doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, not just like, yeah, we're doing this and this is what it's going to be like for three years. It's like, no, we're doing this and this is, we're doing this as this is something that we were already talking about. And this is something that we're going to, this is the next step that we're taking to better each other's life. And not, not in the sense that like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to school while I'm staying here, but. Um, no, for her to better yours while you better yours. Bro, she's, she's just following her dreams. So like anything, like, you know what it's like, we, we know what it's like. We creators and shit. We like, we do, we do stuff that like people usually told us not to do and shit like that. She's just, she's following her dreams. So anything that she, she, as long as she's doing what she loves and what she wanted to do, I'm all for it. Like, we will figure it Yo, out. Yo, hold on. And you know what's crazy about that? The fact that she's following her path is also allowing you to follow your path. Yeah. And that's the only way you guys could be also on that's the same saying. path. That's what, I'm, that's, what, what I'm saying? that's what we always, like, we talked about it. And it's like, yo, bro, like, I'm like, yo, we, we're adults. Like, we're at an age that we, like, we know what we want. And we've shown it for the past few years. Um... You know, we we respect each other. We, we we know what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know that this is not something that like this is not uh we not this is not puppy love type shit. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we we are grown grown uh people. So it's like that understanding is already there. So it's like after that is already there. It's not much. I feel like 
there's not much to it. It's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, like we, it is what it is. Like shit. it is what it is. Like we're making it work. Like so, we're gonna figure so, it so out. So now, so now is, is we passed that, and now it's like let's make sure we know how to make this work. Yeah, exactly. the best way that it can. And it's like it all goes back to being harmonious, you know. And it's like I. And it was like the last few days was was a little bit like you know there was a lot of feelings and stuff and emotions because yeah. it's like you know um, we we're being separated for like the first time in a few in months or so like sometimes we go on vacations and all that like I'll go on vacation with you so it's a few days but for now it's gonna be like it's gonna be a little bit longer uh, periods because she's taking a lot of classes and like those classes are intensive she got a lot of tests and stuff like you know what it's like too with with, with your girlfriend and stuff so it's like um, she's doing her thing but it's like I'm I keep telling her like yo like just remember. What, what where you came from like it goes back to the episode three like growing from uh being raised by a single mom by a grandma no male figures in the house like like look where you're coming from and look what you achieved and it's like don't worry about anything else we're gonna yeah. figure this shit out <laughs> yeah so like I, I just feel like you know like you know when you feel like that feeling is there like you don't you know i'm not i'm not worried about anything in my sense all right so that was awesome now let's get let's get back to the question like I want to know like specifics. I want to know like what what are the steps that all right. So you already know you're gonna make it work. Now what are the steps you're taking to make it work? Um, I mean it's it's simple stuff like communication, definitely yeah. honesty. Um, just being upfront, talking often, FaceTiming. Like I'm I'm the type of person I never really like FaceTiming or anything like that. Yeah. But it's like you know you have to like if it's one person I'm FaceTiming, it's my girl or my yeah. family. <laughs> so you know that um. It's just, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's the, weird because to, to me, feeling and doing exactly what you feel, type shit. Yeah, but it's like, I feel like everything leads to honesty and just you being yourself. Yeah. Like, well, yesterday, like I was hungry and I tried to go to the deli. Uh, mind you, I came, so I came down from Philly. I remember, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make something to eat or something. <laughs> so yeah. I went to the deli. They were closing whatever that they couldn't make me a sandwich. So I'm like, oh damn. So I came home, I had some potatoes and like some some stuff there. And I just FaceTimed her. I'm like, listen, like the, the deli, they're not making sandwiches. I came home, like, uh, help me figure this shit out. Like, we FaceTime each other. She helped me cook the whole meal, bro. Like, <laughs> it's just like little stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, you know, you don't gotta like, you know, just be yourself. Like, if, that's if, so if, fire. if I don't know how to cook and I need help with something, that's like, so you know? fire that you call, like, that's the, that's the way that yeah, bought. It's almost like she was right there with you. Exactly, like you know, like not making it a thing that is like that's that that yeah. tra- that transcends the distance right there, bro. And we had mad fun because I'm I'm here looking like a jackass, like <laughs> figuring shit out and doing dishes and stuff. She's yeah. looking at me the whole time, like having a good time, like having a blast. So it's like little stuff like that, that's you know. Dope. That's super dope, man. Yeah, that's awesome. I I, I wanted to bring up that conversation because I wanted also to kind of like you never know, like the the fact that you. React and, and and you act that way with her and you know what's gonna work for you because you're following your heart and and you're both following your path. It's it's gonna work. Yeah. So there's people there's people out there that don't have that full confidence yet, <coughs> whether it be in themselves or their partner or whatever it may be. They might not have that confidence. So I just wanted I wanted them to see a perspective of somebody who who's really about everything that they do and like how mm. how you can do that also. Just like literally, it boils down. I feel like to what you said is literally just. Being honest, being your true self, like you said, yeah, yeah. being your true self, because that also brings it out in others, and there has to be like it's it's pure, it's it's it, purity. It has, that, to, that's, bro. That, it has to be the real, because you know how they say real recognize real, real also it it brings out the real. You know what fact, I mean? Fact. So it that and it's um I've been like like a lot of uh, the stuff I've been listening to, like the the audible that I'm listening to now, like. It goes back to that, bro. Like we we sense when something's wrong. We as humans, we can sense when somebody's energy is off, yeah, and like you can sense when when that person is hiding something for you. And women are incredible at that, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> a Superheroes. woman will tell you like, yo, like what's wrong, and you're like, nah, everything's good. Nah, something's wrong. Like <laughs> they know right away. It's like they they could sense that, you know. And it's like, well, all of us are like that. But you just you know you got to be in tune with yourself. So but it's yeah, like you were saying, it's that, and it's like you know. It, it's also being honest with yourself and it's like, you know, if, if this is a person that you want to spend the next few years of your life or the rest of your life with, like, why not push each other? Like, you know, I always saw that as the number one thing, like, you know, whether we're, if we're friends, if we're coworkers or whatever, we got to push each other. Like, you know, eventually we might not, we, 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 you know, we might go separate ways and stuff like that, but at least, you know, I could look back at, to you as a coworker or as a friend and be like, damn, like, you know, 
we held down for each other type shit. How you go, we say we're your co we all coworkers and all that. You know? So far. So it, it all translates to relationships, basically. Yeah. So, so. How about you? What what it was your input on? Oh, well, you don't you're not dealing with the same situation yeah, yeah, yeah. type, you know, type I, thing. I, but, I guess I guess I'll answer what I've been up to and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I t- I tell you about my like my previous week, like this past week that we that we haven't seen each other, and that kind of could tie everything in together. So, um, <clears throat> um, I picked up my girl last Monday. It's Monday right now. I picked up my girl last Monday. Um, she finally done with all her finals. Her last Damn. final was that Monday, and she was studying like a motherfucker. She was studying for hours. Like she she would she would be going to sleep at three or four studying, but she she been studying like she started studying when she woke for up weeks <laughs> and for weeks. Yeah, for weeks. So, wow. but it got really intense. Like for weeks, it got but it got even more intense. Um, during during the actual final, so she'll get fucking four hours of sleep before a final for her. Damn. You know, studying, and it's not like she was cramming like last second. No, she's been she's been studying from the morning That's, to the yeah. night. So she was going in and. And um, she she was also at my house for a lot of that, like for most of that time. Then she went back home during the weekend, and I picked her back up on Monday um, yeah. after her last final. But basically, like it was it was kind of intense. It was I can't say intense, but it was it was like um, uh, it gave me it gave me time myself to to work on my stuff while she's working on her stuff. So it was like it was beautiful in the sense of like um, having the time to be productive and shit like yeah. that. So. For both of us, but then also, you know, there's sometimes you're like, damn, like I want, I want to, I want to chill with her right now, or whatever. So yeah. there was like those little moments, but like it never, it never got, you know, it never got to to any mm. point where like I try to steal her yeah, from her yeah, work yeah. or anything like that. It's 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 weird. It's, it's hard to call you over. Like sometimes, like you just get that thing, you just want to annoy them. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I do. So that right there, that was what we were talking about earlier. If you saw like a little cut, but um, so back back to back to what's been going on, right? So that's she was. She was um, <laughs> she was studying for all that time, you know, and then she finally, I finally pick her up, and she got no finals no more. She for the next two weeks, she got no classes. Nice. So we're 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 set to actually have time together instead of her just being in my house, and then you know at the end of the night maybe watch TV together and eat together, but like nothing else. Like it's yeah, all like, no, all work, is which is is super dope, but it's also like we need time together as well. Yeah, you know to talk and you know have conversations. So that's where that's where like. That's a big focus of what's been going on this past uh, week. We've been having some conversations, like you said, not service level, big talk. Like we literally, yeah. like we was lit- I told her like, yo, like these past few days we straight up just been having big talk, right? Yeah. Um, but basically, um, something happened on Tuesday, like the next day, like we woke up and we were woken up in the middle of our sleeps. They had to come into my crib to fix some, like to remove the door so they could, like it was some shit, some law that passed now. So they had to remove the door. So stay in the middle of the night? Not in the middle of the night, oh. but it was the morning. Oh, okay. But okay. like it was, it was like nine in the morning that that they started knocking. So they started knocking at nine. I haven't woken up at nine in a minute. I'm tired. <laughs> I usually wake up at ten, ten thirty, or closer to eleven. Yeah. So um, so they they woke us up in the middle of sleep. Yo, my brain is exploding. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But I already knew it was them because like I got a notification before, but I didn't know what time they were coming. I told them to come yeah. in the afternoon. They came first thing in the morning when they started oh, working. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So. That kind of that kind of whooped me into shape, whooped us both into shape right away. So like we had to figure out what the hell we're gonna do. It took us some time, like while they were fixing shit over there. But it's yeah. mad uncomfortable. I live in a studio, so like I can't necessarily I, I, like they move a little bit. They have the view to the whole fucking like yeah, it's the true, house. True, yeah, so right. so it was it was whack in that sense. But then um whatever we were like fuck it like. We're not trying to stay here while they're working the whole fucking day. We don't know how long they're gonna be here. We're not gonna sit here and fucking just watch YouTube and shit like all day. So I'm like yo yeah. like. I said, yo, get ready. We're gonna, we gonna dip. Yeah. <laughs> we're we gonna sit down in the park downstairs, right? So we sit down in the park downstairs, grounding, chilling, and then right there, like big talk. No, yeah. Big talk starts after we go sit down on the bench. Big talk just starts. Where? Having some. What you guys talk, uh, spoke about? Um, if you want to share something like that? That specific um, one, I can't remember the specifics of. Oh, it was about it was about children and like education. Mm. So I was getting I was getting her view on like. What like her, like if she's into alternate or education and stuff okay. like that, yeah, or whatever it may be. But then like I said something and it, uh, about just like oh what I want my kids to have, and it seemed to kind of like trigger her. And I'm like, mm. I was like, oh damn, this is a point where if I, if 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 it, if like it makes her feel a type of way that that's what kind of makes me not want to 
talk about certain shit because I don't want I don't want to have like you know miscommunicate. I don't want I don't want it to be a discussion, not a discussion, an argument. Okay, like, I, I, I want I want it to just be a conversation that we could really just yeah, yeah, build yeah. And, and, okay. and 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 like make up some make up make some shit up ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Instead take it somewhere. Of, yeah, yeah. Right. But like I be I, sometimes I just be like, you know, fuck that. I'm not even gonna talk then. But nah. so the so fact you felt like it stopped there. No, 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 it didn't. That's the okay. thing. So like I, I'm, I'm patient. I'm patient with her while she's going through whatever she's going through. And then a little later on, I, I told her how I felt about how she reacted. And then because she was feeling the type of way for a little bit, I'm like, yo, like, yeah. But then right away we kind of got into the conversation about what just happened. Like I found a way to continue the conversation. And then we, it's like our bond just got like this. And then we, re- we like one person, and we we're just like talking about like, oh, like. I felt like this when you said that. I felt like this, whatever. And then, and then we like we actually had a fucking great day after that. Like we were both mm. like we were floating yeah, through yeah, the street, yeah. floating through. It, it was like we got into an instant flow because we were able to like to connect like yeah, that because yeah. cause we were able to communicate and we understood each other at, mm-hmm. at those moments. So then we had yo when we it's were walking fire. down the we, we were walking all the way from the west side basically to to Seventh Avenue. And then, like when we were almost at Seventh Avenue, she's like, "Wow, I didn't even notice we were here. Like we just flew." And I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, we That's vibing." Crazy. I told yeah, straight yeah. up, like, "We vibing." That fire. So it, it 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 strengthened our bond. Our vibe was impeccable. Mm. We went we went to we doing yo we were going to get toilet paper, but we <laughs> were having a great time. Yeah, uh, get food. That- I think we got food a little later, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, but yo, fire. like we were going to get toilet paper and we were flowing like. That's how you know when that's you're having a good is, time. You're, you're doing something that's not supposed to be fun, but like, well, since we're talking and since we're we're really getting into flow with each other, that makes that that like that's the activity. And you guys could have easily just stayed home and like watch YouTube how you guys were doing already. That or so. or when we were outside, she was feeling the type of way. I, I, if I would have fed into that and said my own negative shit, or if yeah. I if I if I acted negatively, and that could have took it somewhere else. Completely, but since I was yeah. patient with her, and then she was patient with me as well, with like even. Being open to communication, yeah. we were able to do that. That just connected us like that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the communication right now with my girl has been amazing. Cause same thing the next day, big talk. The next day, big talk. <laughs> it was all different things. And at some point, I told her like, "Yo, like," I asked her, "I'm like, yo, are you tired? Are you tired of like big talk? Like I was actually like doing this." And she was like, "Nah." Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> "That's fine." Okay. Uh, I'm like, "Ah, right, that's dope." Cause like. At the end of the day, also the person that you're with, they have to be on the same page and also know what they want, and hopefully they want the same thing. For me, I need I need an understanding. I need I need us to be able to push like big talk. I need us to be able to push Facts. beyond whatever limitations that we have because that's what I'm doing with my life. So for us to for Very us true. to be for us to be able to continue to grow with each other, we have to have that we have to have that type of bond. Where it's like if she's killing it, she's doing she's she's doing her thing and she's growing in that. And so am I, and yeah, what I'm right. doing. So like, if as like whatever we do together is that translates into whatever we do apart as well. So that's why we also have to cultivate and build that with yeah, each yeah. other, because that's also gonna help us in our life. And then, yo, as we continue to come together and come together, that's that's a mastermind. It's crazy, what you're doing, man. You know what I mean? It, it's, that's very true, man. And it's, damn, that's uh, that's beautiful though, man. That's dope, man. Yeah. So that that's what my week has been like. It started off with that that first day. The second day, I told her like, yo. um, that night, the the night that it happened, like later on, I'm like, yo, we let's wake up early tomorrow, so we don't have to like be rushing when they come in, like so we we don't have to fucking take our toothbrush out from there to do it in the sink in the in the in the room. I mean, in yeah, the yeah, in yeah. the in the kitchen. Mm, okay. Like, I'm like, yo, let's let's just get up early so we could do all true, that. True, true. And then by the time they come, we just leave. Bro, mm. we woke up early. They didn't come till like an hour later than they did the the day before. So we had an even an extra hour. Mm. Like, but we was done. We were waiting for them so we could fucking leave. Wow. Yeah, so waiting, waiting changing, to open the door for them. They changed the door. That's what. Yeah, they the would change the door. Damn. They took some shit out. They had to paint. It, it, it was a bunch of little things, but it took it took two days. But basically, Damn. it pushed us because like, oh, we woke up early, bro. We we went on a walk, sat on the grass for man long, grounded. Talk oh, another big talk conversation pops up that second day. Damn. <laughs> right, like right when we're sitting there about you know current events and stuff like that, how she feels, and another thing, uh, something else happened where like there was a bump in communication where where she felt a way about um how I was going about something, and then I ended up telling her like I didn't like when she said something. I had I I didn't I didn't react to it, mm-hmm. but she 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 took it like I reacted to it, but I was just looking for understanding, like asking like gotcha. yo yeah yeah. yeah. Like asking for clarification, but yeah, she took yeah. it as I took it personal. So whatever, but we were able to have the conversation about the conversation 
The same thing mm. happened. Flowing, we vibing, we it's going, crazy. we go, we eat, we have some good ass food, we talking, we chilling. I have my shirt off because it's hot outside. I'm just like, I'm like, we're just having an amazing day. Then we end up walking on the high line all the way, all through the, from the beginning of the high line to the end of the high line. Damn. So we had the craziest walk, like we're doing our fitness, and at the same time we're having these conversations. So it was like. Again, That's crazy, you know, like, and it was all, it's all back to the the shit that I didn't even want to happen. That they had to fucking change shit in the crib, so like off of that day, yeah. So after that, the, the whole week was just flowing. The whole week, so nah, she, that's crazy. I mean, but, today, but so. you see, I mean, it was just you guys being yourselves, you know, and being yeah. a pure honesty and just you know bringing yeah, that forth. I'm looking forward to being the the best, and that I can you be. know, <laughs> are you are you were saying like it's so important for um. For you, like, you know, if you guys are working on something together, like, you, you're ready. Like, you know, if you have months, years, weeks, like, if you're getting to know somebody, like, just be straightforward with them. Because sometimes it just makes shit easier instead of you, like, tiptoeing around things that, that might be, like, you know, matters that might be a little bit uncomfortable and stuff. Like, yeah, and then I, I see what you're saying. Sometimes, you know, one person might think, like, they might take something personal. Or the other person might think they took it personal. Sometimes you need cl- clarifications. Sometimes you just need to give it some time. like you and, know. and learn about how each other are. How 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 we know that we are, like just talk about talk about it, and then so they can understand you a little better. Because at the end of the day, if they're not in you, they there's no way for them to know really yeah. how you feel about something. So if you're able to explain, well, you know how you feel and and what made you feel that way and like why that might be, if you're able to do that, like bro, yeah. like that's how you really understand each. But you also have to be open to listening, but also open to sharing because that's there's that's the two sides of the that, coin. That and um and um. I feel like as a, as a man, sometimes that's something we could be, at least me, like, you know, we could be a little bit hard-headed with certain things. Like, you know, we feel like it's, oh, it's this way or, or, or like, you know, this way type shit because that's yeah. all we know and stuff. But it's sometimes just like, yeah, understanding. Like, there's times that like, yeah, like, like you said, like, my girl will tell me something or like she'll explain something to me or she'll share, share her her view about something and might not necessarily agree with it. But then later on, it takes me some time, but then I'll catch up to it. I'm like, okay, yeah. now I see why she on the, why she. Things like that. Yeah, she, I'm on, I'm on that same where she vibe. came from and to, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to bridge that gap too. And well. sometimes, you know, it's just patience, having patience, but that, that honesty, because even if you're not honest with it, you know, from the get go, like, shit, like, you know, think about it. You gotta, you gotta be, I feel like, I feel like um, that takes some <clears throat> vulnerability as well to be able to open yourself up and like be honest about who you are and also how things make you feel. Because sometimes we don't want to say, like, yo, that made me feel this way, because then, you know, some some people take that as like a sign of weakness, like oh, oh, you a bitch or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Maybe like that, sign little like that, like oh, you you mm-hmm. oh, you, you got no sense of humor, oh, this and that, like like you don't want to be judged, like yeah, yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. But as long as like you're vulnerable, that also shows the other person that they could be they could be vulnerable, mm-hmm. and that you guys can just take that piece of armor off and really just like really get come together. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's true. Um, what are some of the conversations like you know that you guys if you if you remember any of them off the top of that? So that fir- that first one that I told you was about like education system and like what kind of education we we'll want our children to to like have because you know there's people that learn better um, visually there's people that learn that yeah. that you could tell from the get go that they're more of an artistic person or whatever it may be. So the the conversation like I felt like like I was trying to get into that conversation. And and I didn't necessarily know how or where to go with the conversation, but then I also felt like she wasn't she wasn't open to letting me figure it out because she was mm. kind of like she was like um um no uh, I think thing like that <laughs> so that so for me that that I took that as like damn yo like I, I then I won't say shit if it's gonna yeah, be like yeah, that yeah. but then I'm like I, I I stay strong in myself like like yo bro like there's a reason also why she's she's acting like that so let me try to figure yeah, out the reason yeah, yeah. because at the end of the day like I. <clears throat> It's not that it's being a bigger person, but it's, it's about just like n- being resilient as well. If that makes any sense to you, you know that's what I'm true, saying? That's true. So no, like, yeah. so like, all right, now, now I w- I'm gonna make the effort to understand you because like I don't think you're understanding where yeah, I'm coming yeah, yeah. from. So mm-hmm. let me make the effort to understand you. So like, it was it was it was much more than just a conversation that we were mm-hmm. having. We were also having that interaction. And we're learning yeah. about each other through that because that's is so many levels. Like if if, if y'all peep that, there's so many levels to just like human relationship, and and you you get more than what just what you see. They're like you see this, but you don't see that that conversation and what's going on in that person. Like people are people are are in very intricate machines. You know yeah. what I mean? Nah, so, that's very true, man. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we were 
that I feel like that popped up. Uh, I I don't remember exactly what we were talking about, how it went, but it, one of it is just fears, and just like you know, we just were talking about it and just you know, realizing how some of these fears internalize a certain things, like you know, like one of it is is uh the fear of like you know being lonely type shit because we're gonna be separated from each other. Yeah, and you know it all goes back to you know, so it's a bunch of things. I I, I lost my train of thought like how we that conversation went, but. It's just that, like realizing when uh, the fears creep up, and not only realizing uh, when they creep up, but realizing where that fear is, is coming from, like uh, the fear of loss or the fear of failure, the fear of embarrassing and stuff like that. Like all those things, you gotta. As I was telling her, like that I learned in my book, she, she um, the author was like, not a she, is a he actually. So the author was like uh, that. Um, in order for you to, to, to handle, like, the fears and stuff, instead of going, like, one at a time, like, the fear of heights, the fear of uh, snakes, the fear of whatever it is, most of them, they boil down. I don't know if I talked about it in the, in the last podcast. I don't know if I— if No, I'm, you didn't. You didn't. Oh, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but you it's didn't. probably what I told her. Yeah, yeah, it's the conversation that you're having. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you can't decipher when <laughs> and where. Yeah yeah, 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 I know exactly what you're talking about. But it's basically that, just, like, how those fears, they all lead back to one certain thing, and, like, most of them are the same thing. It's, like, you know, fear of em- uh, envy, jealousy, all those things. Like, you just got to know where that feeling is coming from. Yeah. And if you're able to trace it back to that, you could— much better handle, yeah. From you can cut it off from the head type shit, you know. Yeah. Instead of like trying to work all oh, like the fear of this, because because it's, it's yeah, the, then too the many tiny things, ones, yeah. Because it's like it, it becomes diluted. Exactly, yeah, yeah. At the at the end of the day, like for example, like um, there, there could be like a fear of let's say let's say somebody's scared of like getting hurt. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Whether it be like emotionally or whatever, that could literally just be fear of death. You know what That's I mean? True, yeah. That that, that could just that be like because at the end of the day, like. Let's say getting hurt um, emotionally, like you could feel like you feel like shit. Also, if you get hurt outside, like you know, or, or somebody's gonna like fucking you, you, you're scared that somebody's gonna physically harm you. That that also that would probably go to fear of death because you're like yeah, like you know you bounce back from that, but like like you're you're focusing on the fear more, which will actually probably make it happen more. You know what I mean? But if yeah, you focus yeah. on like yo, I I feel amazing, I feel safe when you go outside, like yeah, that's like, I'm not worried about it. You're, you're kind of you're, you're cutting you're cutting off that fear, and through cutting off that fear, you're cutting off that mode of of mm-hmm. manifestation as well. Like like here's 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 that shit projecting out to the manifestation to come back. You're snipping it here, and so that shit's not gonna come back. You're not gonna meet that shit at any point. That and then you're not gonna uh you're not gonna take your energy to that level. Like you're not gonna you know you're not gonna start thinking about doubts, about uh envy, jealousy, whatever those those fears are. You're not gonna you know you're not gonna get on that that negativity. And that's really important because that's when the doubts and all those things and even more fears start creeping up and like you second guess yourself. Yeah. And that's where people like shut off and like don't get shit done. So like it's really important to like, you know, just understand that, like understand when that's happening and like, yeah, like you said, like you understand, you know. So one of the things that I was, um, the Joseph, uh, you know, channel. like yeah. uh, uh, jo- Joseph Rodriguez, Joseph, if you guys yo, want, we'll put it in amazing. the description. <laughs> We yeah. have to, yeah. We should. We we gotta put them on with. Yeah, that. yeah. We'll, we'll we'll put that so you guys could have like a resource to so, like also like maybe like what sometimes we may be talking yeah, about. Yeah, when we reference it, to certain things. Yeah, so we'll put that in the description down below. I'm gonna send you this one uh, episode I was listening to. He put it out like a few days ago, I think, or today. And um, you know, like that was in the time when I was setting this up. So like I was kind of like I was in and out of the yeah, conversation. Yeah. Like I, but you but, p- you'll pick up like what yeah, you yeah, need yeah. That and I'm, I'm gonna definitely go back and listen yeah, to yeah. that one. Like you know, paying full attention to it, but um. We are just talking about like, yeah, like, you know, the, those things like, you know, he always talks about like how the imagination internalizes into like, you know, like as 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 you imagine yourself, that's what's going to internalize into the outer world, which yeah. is the, the, the five senses, I think that he said. Yeah. That, uh, it that he externalizes in. into the, like the five sensory, um, five sensory, what is it? Five sensory uh, world. It's, yeah, it's like yeah. that, that type of, like the 3D world. Mm-hmm. But um, so it was something around that, but then he also said like, you know, when you have those doubts and, for example, like if you know, you, if you're trying to lose weight, that's your goal, right? You know what you have to do. <laughs> you know what you shouldn't do and what you have to do. You know you should work out. <clears throat> Watch out with your calories. Um, cut the, the, the sugars. You, you know what, you, like, you know what's, what's healthy, what's unhealthy. Like, you know, if you're faced with, a, with a, some vegetables and a donut, you, you could obviously tell which one is the, not the healthy option, right? Yeah, yeah. So it just boils down to like you make you know you're going to be presented with those things in your life make the correct decision and don't worry about it because the rest is going to figure itself out now one thing that he put on top of that 
it's like now you could show up to it, make the decision, and go with it. Or you could also show up to it, make the decision, and know that that's the best decision that you can make and come with it with a positive attitude. That just gives that's it more fuel. More fuel and increases your chances of you <laughs> manifesting that even faster. Yeah. Bro, like, that shit was like, damn, it's so true. Because it's that's like, fire. you could sit down and write a song. And it's like, you know, sometimes oh you, you could doubt yourself. But it's like, what what what, what can Yo. you do? You know, you, you could get it through. Like, you'll get it through, right? But what if you get it through and you're like, you know what? I'm going to put the best foot forward on this song type shit. Like, running. You, you know, know what's crazy? That you bring up that specific... Um, uh, Example, because yeah. last night I was just chilling, but I was working at the same time. Like I was, I was doing stuff while doing stuff. It was crazy. All the shit that I was fucking had to do, whatever. Anyways, yeah. back to back to the point. <laughs> back to the point. So like, I'm like, all right, I finally get to write. I was gonna skip my writing practice for yesterday. I was gonna skip it. I'm like, no, nah, fuck. Like, she's over there. She's been waiting for me for the whole day to chill because now she finally got her time. And 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 I, I, I don't. Necessarily, because I have to do all these things yeah. in order for my day to be fulfilled. You know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, I, I, but I want at the end of the night, I want to meet with her and like, yeah, yeah. talk and watch TV or whatever yeah, it may be. Right. So, but at that point, I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm a, even if it's 30 minutes, it's, I, I want to do an hour, even yeah, if yeah. it's 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. I'm going <laughs> to do my practice now. So, I sit down, an idea comes for this for this beat. I'm like, all right, let me just do that. I follow that first idea. Like, I, I've been meaning to start a song to that beat, pull up the beat. I hear it, I'm like, Oh fuck! I don't even know where to start. What do I say, and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that was kind of like the thought in my mind. But I'm like, fuck! I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play it a few times and then I'll figure it out. I don't care. Like whatever. Yo, yeah. I did it a couple of times. Like some whack shit came out for like the first thought, the second thought. After that, I'm just like, Phew. I'm transported <laughs> to that world. Line, Dang. line, 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 murking it. Damn, Damn, I sound like that. Damn, that was me. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, like just really like having having one of those moments where like, oh, oh, it's getting quicker. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm really I'm I'm really putting these pieces together, and it's I'm getting better at my career, my profession, and I'm it's like it was it was letting me know it was giving me that that thing like yo just keep going yeah. keep going you did everything you needed to do today so guess what here here's a gift to you yeah yeah boom. And you you wouldn't have gotten it if you didn't make the initial step to be exactly. like yeah like let me just if, if put I, in I had to get yeah. out of my own head real quick to to like yeah. that that was telling me like yo like go go over there kind of like almost like be lazy but I also told my girl push me and yeah, she's yeah. been pushing me too that's fire so so that was that was like that was a moment where I was like I right, I got this and once I got to a point where it's like I had to you know push a little bit more I'm like I did my I did my twenty five I did my thirty yeah. minutes now let me go I was blessed I appreciate you keep yeah. going you know what I mean it's fire. So, but yeah. that's that, that's funny because um I felt like the same way um especially today and just last night, <clears throat> mostly today, I was telling you like <laughs> my phone messed up so I had to like I had to do an Apple uh like I had to go to the Apple store like ASAP type shit like today I scheduled an appointment but then that kind of like threw my day off because I was supposed to like post on YouTube and the time that I was saving to like you know finish that YouTube video I ended up trying to figure shit out with my phone. And trying to back up my phone. And then, long story short, the backup wasn't working on my Mac computer. So I'm like, screw it. Let me try my Windows computer. I hadn't turned on my Windows computer since like for a few months now. Like I've been on my Mac for, for like a long time. So then what I had to do, like I had to wait for my, my, my phone to back up the files because I know they're going to replace my phone when I get back. So doing that, it should took like four hours, yo. Those four hours, I went through a whole bunch of beats, like old beats that I had that I hadn't even opened. <laughs> nah, <laughs> so, nah, nah, nah. But you nah, know, hold on, pause real quick. Yesterday, when I was I was sending you those Snapchats of old older songs, yeah. and I was I was posting on Instagram the older songs, exactly what I was doing because I had I had some time that I had to <laughs> utilize for my music, and yeah. that was what I was doing at the moment. I was going through everything that I have. So crazy that you were going through everything that you had, Yo. and I was at the same time. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that, crazy. That, yeah. But what I noticed is that. Um, with that shit in itself, like even that, like you know, I, I was still like a little bit hard headed. Like I was a little bit, a little bit hard on myself. Like yeah, damn, yeah, like yeah. I could have. I want to be doing do this instead yeah, of like this. I could have been doing this. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and but it's like then I stopped and I thought about it. I'm like, yo, like I gotta chill out. Like I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing because it's like I'm still like stumbling up, up, like I'm not stumbling, but I'm coming across these beats that I'm actually gonna. I know they're good, gonna so I'm gonna them. fix them, and that's for YouTube. Yeah. So that's actually. It's helping me do so, the stuff that yeah, I couldn't do. But, but, but it feels like because you did it already, 
that that you you looking at it is not sufficient, but you looking at it mm. and figuring like, oh, I could still use this. That's also part of the work. Yeah. So then, yeah, then it's gonna, it's gonna go to also your productivity, and it's not gonna be that you're working harder mm. or, or or less. It's gonna be that you're working smarter. That and then what that told me is like, damn, like yeah, even I just noticed how like even while you are getting stuff done, sometimes it's easy for the mind to play tricks on you and be like, yo, you're not getting shit done, bro. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, you were supposed to post on YouTube. Yeah, those four hours I went over like a bunch of beats. I found probably like at least four or five beats that I'm gonna just fix up and put them up in the next few weeks. So it's like, in a way, like you said, like you know, like it rewarded me because it's like here, like you know, you had to deal with this nonsense with your phone and stuff like that. Now, like, I know that I don't have to, like, you know, I don't have to, like, rush yeah. to make new beats for, like, this yeah. week. To, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Exactly. And at the same time, it fucking proved me. I'm like, yo, like, I was I was killing shit a few months ago when I thought I wasn't killing. Because it's always like that. Like, yo, this shit don't sound good enough. But yeah. then I go back and I'm like, what the fuck? I was doing some crazy shit. Like, and it's vibe. like, I'm on that, vibe. that always shows you, like, nah, bro. Like, <laughs> you'll go at everything that you do type of shit. That's, and you got to remember that's that. That's insane. Yesterday, I was going down a rabbit hole. I went down a rabbit hole through all... Through my first mixtape, I was going through my first mixtape, listening mm. to you know what, like what's good about this. I was listening, what's good about this. I figured out mostly what was good about it, but like technically, like my voice, like I, it's always something that I go back to. Is like my voice wasn't where I wanted to. The breathing wasn't where I wanted to. Like I'm picking things apart, but I'm like, yo, people still fucked with it. I take that yeah. piff. There was like a hundred downloads <laughs> of of that mixtape, and That's like fine. what. Like how? Like thinking about that is like it's, it's incredible, especially sounding how it sounds. But like now I know how much better I got because I have the reference of where I'm at mm, now. Yeah. But I was going through all that. I'm like, oh man, like there's a reason why I'm doing the the message that I'm speaking about and stuff. I started I started just like learning more about why, like not even why I'm doing what I'm doing, but like where I've been on this path and what I'm capable of. Because sometimes you feel like, oh, I haven't done this in a while. Maybe I'm not as good. At, yeah, yeah, at yeah. That. that's very true. You know, yeah, as yeah. as you're making music, because at the end of the day, you want to make the best music overall. Yeah, at, at least that's what that's me. That me personally, and I'm sure you too. You want to make the best music you can make. Yeah. So I was like, again, I was going through that, and I was like, wow, I, I, f- I fuck with this old stuff. Now let me listen to things in between and after and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta check this era. So I was thinking about a specific era, and I'm like, yo, I, all those songs that in that era, I'm like, yo, these songs are amazing, and they're they're almost to the level of where I am now. Yeah. And it wasn't it wasn't too long ago, but it was a while ago. So I'm like, yo, like this is amazing. Oh man, shit. I worked way harder than I gave myself credit. Yeah, for, right. Like you be I, I put that down shit, all right? these songs that are gonna be released. Nice. I put out, I, 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 wrote them, I wrote them all down. And, oh, it's just and singles. That's the thing. That's what I still gotta. I gotta put together whether it's gonna be two EPs or whether it's gonna be one long one or whatever it may be. And, for, and also I'm all with the shit. Yeah, and also with the with the like the the titles and like um. The titles kind of helped me remember what the song was about. So not having too many songs that are about this one thing or whatever. Mm, so that I gotta smart, s- yeah. separate them b- between projects. So like, like the first three songs may not be in the same like mm. projects or whatever. Like maybe completely different because I'm touching on these certain subjects in different ways and stuff like that. You gotcha. know what I'm trying to say? So it was mm. like, wow, like I get, I did all this. I built all this work. Now it's time for me to continue to use my time and and dedicate time to that because. That's, me trying to be as productive as possible and making music, yeah. you know what I mean? That also that that could take away from another part, which is like actually Very true. realizing what I have and what I could do with what I have. And like like you said, which we're gonna do with YouTube, I got projects on projects on projects, yeah, and right? I'm still making fire shit now <laughs> that I'm setting myself up for when it's time for those. But right now, it's like yeah. whoa, like man, I, I, I'm, I'm a beast. <laughs> man, I'll be telling you, I always I go back months later and listen to songs that that you recorded like. Months back, and I'd be like, "Yo, this is crazy. You gotta put it out." And it's like, "Yeah, like." And it's crazy because you say that all the time <laughs> for everything. So it's like, "Yo, like, is you you were basically telling me, yo, like, it's time to utilize what you got." That's the at, like at behind everything behind yeah. the actual words you say. You were basically saying that, like, "Yo, like, it's t- you you utilize that time to to for the small things, which is this, mm. which is actually gonna be way bigger than you think it is." That and it's like, it's interesting because it's like if you, if you don't, like you were saying, like sometimes you, you in certain songs, you might come across the same topic, but like you, you get at it at, at a different way, a different angle, different story, different point of view type shit. And it's like, you know, what if that's the point of view that resonates the most with a certain listener, but mm. we're stuck in our head like, nah, this is not, this yeah. is not the song. 
Yeah, yeah. But we but we're missing out on like ten listeners like, that like like, like that's the, that's <laughs> that's the perfect way to 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 reach for them. them to receive the message, bro. That's the one thing YouTube yeah. taught me is like, bro, like you you <laughs> like you think like sometimes you think like, oh, this video is gonna do dope, it's gonna do good, might not do so good. But there's been times that I'll be like, yo, this beat is not good. I don't like it, but I'm going to put it out because I want to stay on schedule. I'll put it out. That show will blow up like somewhere, like in South America or somewhere. Like, it'll get like half a million it's plays. Crazy. And it's like that shit, that shit taught me from like, from like since I got serious with it. It's just like, it's, it's not about you. And it's not, you're not the one that decides whether the shit is good or not, bro. And it's like, that's all goes back to just being in our, in our head and shit. Got the Rust book somewhere over there. The Rust book, being, let me. And being, and being the purest version of yourself, too. Yeah, and just letting yourself, you know, just letting yourself grow. And like, you know, like you said, going back to those older songs that you have and like learning, like even picking up the things like, okay, like I came with this over here, like, you know, but my breathing is this. And like, but also understanding like these but, are beginning steps that I was taking. Yo, back, you know, back to in my eyes, like the just the, the, the amount of thought that I put into the story of not just the songs, but where the songs were placed, yeah. what what clips were coming coming before and after, what it sounded like, <laughs> I was like it was like you would think that I had the craziest budget to get you know true, all yeah. this stuff in, but it's like I, I picked this from here, I picked this from here, I picked this from here, and I put it all together, and it's like and I made something that that to this day people still feel like is their favorite Bro. work from me. It's crazy, man. Like. <laughs> but that, that's so beautiful in itself. It's like there's so many people like out there, and the, the internet, the internet has opened all the floodgates, and it's like you know, it, it's just that in itself, that story in itself. Hopefully, like any artists or, or producer, or anybody, any creative that's like just planning on <clears throat> putting things out, even a business owner, if you're planning on launching, like bro, there's always somebody that's gonna fuck with your shit, like it's gonna resonate with your product. With your music, with with your artistic stuff, like just just do it. Just like actually you, do it. Yeah, if you don't do it, like yo, it's like this this podcast, bro. Like none of this is, well, <laughs> none of this is scripted, bro. Like we like I think you asked me earlier, like yo, you got any questions? I'm like yo, like <laughs> I, the whole week I was like I was I was not thinking about questions, and then I'm like Did I and then, yo, so then I asked him, I'm like, how about you? You got questions? He's like, yeah, I wrote some down right now while I was sitting. <laughs> But I was figuring my shit out with Spring on the phone. Like, yeah, he was taking bad long for figuring some shit out with Spring. So I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, I could like scroll the gram or I could like take an yeah. opportunity to write down some topics that I think would be good for the podcast. And we we want we planned to shoot this shit last yesterday. <laughs> Bro, and is it, and the shit is that was like so crazy about it is like at least to me, now is that I'm I'm learning how to yo, and, and that's this is one of the things I was thinking about when I was over there in Philly. I'm like we letting it happen, like we just flowing with it, and it's like now is that I'm, you know, like I'm I'm this age, like, <laughs> like I wish I would have figured this shit out sooner, but it's okay, like I'm not beating myself yeah, up yeah. about it, cause um we we just the way education is, like it goes back, maybe you you talked about it with with, with your girl about education, but it it just go back, it goes back to like yo we've been taught to like just make shit complicated bro like make it complicated like you want to start a business it has to be complicated it cannot be easy you want to do music it gotta be complicated yeah with, with, with school being one of the like, bro, like that they, people have like to go all through all these hoops you gotta go yeah. through and it's like yo that shit is the complete opposite of how everything is bro like I could tell you bro like Cause I I could tell you because it's like I had doubts about like starting a business. I had doubts about leaving my nine to five. Yo, and the and just just one thing you guys should know about him is that this dude he has talents that you wouldn't even know. <laughs> like like and he just he knows about so many different things that it's like the only reason he's able to know about all those things is because he has he's had to dive into that yeah, thing one time, out, two times, three times, and he was just able to to figure it out, like you said. Yeah. And and that goes with just like flowing and, and letting it happen. Like he painted True, something, you, you guys will see it in the next video. <laughs> he painted something and and that was for, for a video of mine and and I was not expecting, I, I didn't expect that at all. And it was amazing. And it goes back to the fact that he went to a couple of like paint and sips and he just I retained- went to one. <laughs> he went to one and he and he retained that information that he learned and yeah, he yeah, utilized yeah. it. That shit came in handy, man, because that shit came out though. Just it's stepping out of your comfort zone uh, is one of the most important things. That was something that, that we brought up uh one of the conversations that came up with me and my girl. It's like like I was, you know, like, you know, she she's really honest. She she's like, yo, like, you know, I don't I don't know if this is the right move and this and that, because you know, the stuff that, that's happening with the relationship, she's away from her family. And it's like, bro, like you like 
this is challenging. <laughs> this is a step that you're taking. Like, mm -hmm. but this is a step that you're taking towards your goal, towards your dream. So, like, trust me, you're doing the right thing. Like, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Exactly. You're facing those yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah. Like, I told her, like, yo, look back to any other things you've done. Like, you became a nurse. You you graduated from school. You you graduated from high school. Like, coming from a single mom, like. You've done all these things. It was those steps that you were in that you, those, yeah. you succeeded. Those so are things. Ha, mm -hmm. Use that as the confidence and the fuel for That's the. What I'm saying, bro. If, if there's no other source, at least use that. You know what I That's mean. What I'm saying, and it's like it's really, ugh, it's really important for for like for us to realize it. It's like yo, bro, like just just kind of like put the dots together. Like just look back at your life and like certain things that you like you didn't think you could do it and shit. Yeah. Like you figure it out. Like you I, got. I, it. I feel like one of the things you said is is huge about just like not beating yourself up. Like that's something that that we should also like. I hate to say normalize because like that's became that's become its own thing about like oh normalize yeah, yeah. this normalize yeah, that like, shut the fuck up something is it become a meme now normalize this normalize that but like yeah, yeah. like it, it should be something that like we we actually we take care of ourselves some more and not even like. In the physical sense, where like, oh, get your nails done. Well, that that could be part of it or whatever <laughs> True, it may yeah. be. But like, right. let's normalize just being nice to yourself in your mind. Like, not beating yourself up about, damn, I did this. Or, damn, I, I, what if I do this? Even, that, what if I do this? That's before it even happens. Like, Yo, don't facts. don't worry about it. Like, let, just let let it let it flow, man. <laughs> but yeah, I don't that's, know. That's crazy, man. Yeah, man. We, we had some dope conversations. That, that was one of the things we... Talked about too, like just not beating beating yourself up and like, um, just not going back to like that. Uh, you know, like I'll bring this up. Like, uh, I remember my, my old job, the the last job I had. There was a video that we they showed us, like you know, towards the the end of me working there. They're like, you know, they've always been big on customer service and all that stuff. But one of the things that like you know they were teaching us in one of the like the learning modules, whatever that they do, they're like, you know. When you tell a customer, like when you're trying to help a customer and like it's something that you, like it's a difficult thing for you to do. Like it, it, it's not it, like it's something that you can't really do for a customer. Like if you can't help him, like you can't help it. You can't help the customer. Like you can't do it. Like either a customer got to come back or somebody else has to do it. Whatever whatever the case, the case is, just try to like do your best as possible. Or like, you know, if you, or if, if we mess up as a company, try to put it in a way that like don't use but. Don't be like, oh, uh, well, we were open at this time, but you came 10 minutes after. Yeah, like, yeah. You, get, you get what I'm saying? And it's like, it, it goes deeper than that. Like, I just forgot the example how they used it. But but it's basically like, if you apologize, I'm not, I can't be like, yo, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry you got mad after that comment that I said earlier, but you being a bitch. Like, I can't say yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you get what I'm it's saying? Com it's combative more than it is actual being sorry or yes. anything like that. And then, that. It's, yeah, so then this week, that was some of the things we were talking about. It's like, you know, sometimes we'll, like, I'll catch her or, like, I'm pretty sure I do it too. Like, we'll uh, we'll say something, like, we'll say something like, yo, congrats on this. Or, or like, yo, it's amazing that you're doing this. Or, like, we'll say something positive. Like, I'll cheer her up for something. Yeah, but this and that. Like, yo, cut with the butts. Like, just leave it at that. Like, accept it. Like, sometimes... Even that in itself is difficult for us to to accept accept fucking like accept praise from somebody or yeah. like congratulations and stuff like just that that's another thing we gotta learn how to how to deal with. It's okay. like yo, just it's no buts. Like that's it. Like you're doing your thing. Like you know you're hustling. You 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 being you. Like it's no there's no buts. It shouldn't be anything. That's a fact. Yeah. I had an experience similar to that today. Just like like I woke up and today was a, a very, you, you woke up today. <laughs> it was a, it was a very quick day. Like it was. It, there's a very a lot of things happening one after the other. So I wasn't necessarily on my phone that much. And um I know like we, we posted yesterday on Instagram about the big time that we posted. And then I woke up to like I saw some good comments, but I had to continue on with my day. Yeah. But the comments were like people like, yo, like I fuck with this. And stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw some good so ones it, too. It yeah. So it took me, it took me like it took me like even to tonight to like just Actually, go there and accept that they're that they're that people are fucking with it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that people are saying that they're fucking with it because, like, like it's almost like you you don't you don't want like you don't want to, but like yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I got I got to step in there and 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 thank the people for for fucking with Facts, it because. Bro. But some, sometimes I don't even want to like talk or like like right? I'm, like, it's, it's like so me me is like I'm a, I'm an interesting person because I always have to put myself out there 
But like I'll put myself out there, but to receive is a little bit different for me. Yeah. And and that goes even with my like relationships and stuff like that. When it comes to like I, I could give you all the love and all the comfort in the world, but like when it's kind of done, when like the affection is time to come to me, I'm just kind of like, uh, like I don't know how to <laughs> I, I don't know saying. how to deal with it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I like that's not to to say that I don't appreciate the affection and the, the love. Yeah. It's more just like I gotta learn how to let it in and 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 let it and. Learn so, how to express mine, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 like my appreciation for yours or whatever it may be. Okay. Learn, learn how to how to show that in the deepest and truest way because I don't want to say something just because like is a, is a response. I wanna I, when I say something, I want you to feel that I said that. Like if I say yo, like if I'm really expressing my gratitude to you, I want it to be the full feeling, not just this piece of the feeling. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 nah, it makes sense. Nah, that's definitely true, and it, like, it goes back to just accepting, like you know that that. Just accepting you to go, bro. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put it like that. That's that's a simple and, and we way, all are. Know? We all are the goal. That's the crazy thing because we're all the best versions of ourselves that we can be at this moment. Th- at this moment, who you are right now is the best version of you because you're here right now. So accept the best parts of yourself and and just forget about forget about those little those little things that pop up because if if you just don't shed light on them, they're not they, they they're not alive. There's no life in them. But whatever whatever you shine light on is what's living. So yeah. sh- shine the light on on the light. Facts, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's very true, man. That's definitely some big talk uh, big conversations. Talk, you know how we get down, man. Come you on, got any man. any other questions off the top of your head or anything? Off that... the top, of, off the top. I feel like. I, this conversation is definitely a conversation that has to be added upon. I feel like we could keep going yeah. with, with this conversation that we're having. Like it's a it's an endless conversation. But um, I I did write down a couple topics. I think we already touched on a couple. But y'all give me a second. Yeah, we're about to do three episodes this week if, if we go this way. <laughs> this rate. Right. Not mad at that. We it's could just flowing. We could plan for ahead of time and stuff. Yo, I literally asked all these questions, but I look. I just had to write them down. I just, <laughs> look, look. That's how it is. That's why it's important to write them down. Wow, that's crazy. That's dope. Yeah, we've been answering that. Like first, <laughs> yeah, that was the first thirty question. minutes or something. Like that. That's the first. Whoa, he's good. Woo. I almost made a beat right now. But uh, um, man, but, th- this has been like uh, this has been more than an hour. But I feel like we yeah, go for another three hours. Yeah, so. definitely. So if you guys fucking enjoyed this episode, um, I would say fucking drop it down, and I'm gonna respond to you. I'm gonna be like, yo, I actually appreciate that you watch this, and I love you. And you who watching it, you, if you're watching this right now, you got here. I appreciate you and I love you so much. Fact, and thank fact, you fact, for, for fact, being fact, here fact. for Big Talk. Um, there's gonna be plenty more. So if you feel like, damn, I still I still want more big talk. There's a nigga, there's gonna be another big talk coming. Yo, baby. We, Come we, on, we yo, always having a big we, talk conversation. We're working for y'all, baby. We're hey, making you, this work. We getting people that, you know, are having the, the conversations with us too. Like, you know, influential like, influential again. people, people who are real human beings, people who don't only care about themselves and what they can get from something, but they care about actually giving to people. Like yeah. at the end of the day, these these are conversations That's that me and him will always bro. have. But the fact that me and him are so open with each other, we have the type of relationship that we yeah. have. We're able to show you that you can actually have a conversation with yeah. somebody that's not service level. It's big Correct. talk. Yeah. So and big talk episode four. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say, uh, oh, we also forgot you got that advice thing that you be doing at the end of the episode. Oh yeah, 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 you see, yeah, yeah. forgot about that. Uh, but now, yo, I was just gonna go back to Charlie again. It's like, yo, like it, it was so great of him to just be open, be himself, and it's like, you know, we were saying like just being open, that's being yourself, like being um, what's that word I'm looking for? Not down to earth or anything like that. Being uh, genuine, vulnerable, uh, genuine and, and vulnerable, like you know, just yeah. being out there, like just you know. Just like how he said, like yo, he be waking up telling himself affirmations and stuff. Like he didn't have to share. He that. He did not like, have know. to share that because <laughs> some people could look at that and, and feel like it's is corny or whatever it may be. So he 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 could he could kept it to himself so that he he felt like yo. just so that people don't really know that about something personal like that. <laughs> and that's beautiful. I mean? And it's it, that's what I like about like nowadays and just like everything. Just people being honest and being upfront. Like bro, like it's not a secret about how we do this shit. He, you know, he wakes up every day. I'm pretty sure there's days he don't want to, he's tired. He don't want to get up. But he knows, like, he was saying, like, yo, bro, like, I'm still here. Like, I got a purpose. Like, my parents came here for, to struggle. Like, I got to do this stuff. Like, you know, just find those reasons why you got to, like, you know, put your best foot forward type shit and just keep going. But um, back to that. So, like, what, what you know, after this conversation, what do you think is a, is a good note for you to leave the, the listeners let me, on? Let me open myself up for some advice Oh, he's a bug now. Guys. He's a fucking bug now. <laughs> uh... Damn, this is tough. 
This is tough. Um, I know it's getting harder, right? It's getting every, harder. Every episode. It, but I guess like maybe it, along it, the lines it, it, of it, it helps us. It helps us, you know, they get like yeah, yeah, get that connection to 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 give to them. True. Um, connect. That that'll Five. be my that'll be my that'll yeah, be my that's very um, true. my thing. Connect connect with yourself first and foremost. You have to connect with yourself. Connect with the people around you. Um, sometimes you want to be to yourself, like we were talking. Sometimes yeah. you, you don't want to be around people. But if you if you connect with yourself and you connect with other people, then it, if they don't feel as strange, they don't feel as outside to you. They they they're somebody that you could build a bond with. Yeah. The, bond, the, bond, the kind of bond that me and him have through all these years of friendship. The bond right. that I'm I'm continuing to create with you know others, you know friends friends that you know I've known for a long a long, a long time already. But our our con- our connection gets deeper. Through us, you know, spending time with each other and learning about each other to new friends, to like to, to, to people that you met a year ago, but now you're actually, you know, you Joe, shout out my brother Joe. I know you're probably watching <laughs> this, but like people, people who who you know you meet through life circumstances and that they, they they become, you know, through connecting, they become people that you could actually have big talk with and that you could connect right. with. And that's all through connection and opening yourself up to the connection, putting yourself out there and being vulnerable, like you yeah. said. So that's my my thing would be one. to connect. It's a pretty good one. Um, damn, why would I? <clears throat> I guess mine is along the lo- the lines of that because, um, like you know, this week was was really about that and just being open, just being honest, and you know, uh, and just just you know being yourself. And just, <laughs> I always say this at the, at the end of every episode: just be yourself, be yourself. I sound like a broken record. Nah, all right. So close your eyes real quick. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put him through an exercise. We're gonna close your eyes. Close your eyes, right? Remember that song, Give Me That? Give me that. Yeah, give yeah, me yeah. That. Uh, Picture pitch black right now in your mind. Yeah, it's mad black. My eyes are closed. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, eyes, yeah. All right. Now open your eyes and just talk. Big talk? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Um, nah, man, I feel like it's still the same thing. I just. Um, but I I feel like I already discussed it. It's just that that conversation, man. I I I noticed that at least with me, like you know, whenever um I was upfront with somebody or like just honest with them, that's yeah, like you were saying, that's how you could get the the most out of a relationship. Either it's a friendship, either it's a business transaction, whether whatever it is, just be honest, bro. And like, oh, sympathy is another thing that we touched on, like that we were discussing. Just having sympathy, like you know, understanding like we each come from like a different household different cultures different backgrounds and that's beautiful in itself like that that's what you know makes it beautiful but it's like um don't don't see it as something that should divide us instead see it as something that should you know bring us together type shit because it's like how are you supposed to like you know uh continue to like you know develop yourself as a human being if you're not open to like those you know those connections like going goes back to connections and all that stuff just that man it's lit, man. Yeah, man. Fucking lit. Good, good episode. Um, Big talk. Probably do another Number one. Four. We'll do probably like two more this week because this one, I, this one was comfortable. Like I mean, we just it's yeah, later yeah. shit. We just tired, but get it dope. done earlier next time. But um, Big Talk episode four, the realest podcast in the multiverse. Um, we here and yeah. Last off, baby. thank you for the support, all the love, all the comments, and everything, bro. Love ya. Talk to ya. Peace. Good stuff, Flacco. Big dog. All right, let's go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, right. Now I got to do some mixing.